So here we are, game number six. It's Peru versus Denmark. Peru start 11 is like this Cadiz, Adilucia, Corso, Ramos, Hurtado, Flores, Jotun, Polo, Tapia, Carrillo, and Farfan. As for Denmark, they start like this Schmeichel, Vertergaard, Brjarland, Christensen, Kajar, Schoner, Jensen, Eriksen, Delaney, Jorgensen, and Paulsen up front. And it is going to be. Denmark get us underway. Well, this will be interesting because they are similar, similar jerseys. So uh, I believe, I believe. Well, with, well, we're gonna have to wait and see. We're, we're gonna wait and see because if you're new to this whole setup here, I can edit the jerseys and whatnot. And these two CIs play in similar jerseys, so we not we won't know who's gonna be in the red and who's gonna be in the white. I'm gonna put my money on. Um, the white being Denmark. I'm not too sure why, but I've just got a sneaky feeling. Uh, but these two sides are meeting in Group C with France and Australia. Uh, Denmark sneaking through the trapdoor of the playoffs to get into the uh, World Cup, beating Ireland quite comfortably in the end. Uh, Ericsson stole the show. As for Peru, they also, last minute dot com, I think they finished in the last remaining South American qualifying place. Uh, ahead of the likes of Paraguay, who else was in there? Venezuela, Bolivia, uh, any other? Oh, Chile, that's right. The mega upset in South America was Chile. In fact, it could have been Argentina, but uh, Argentina pulled their finger out the backsides in the last couple of games and got themselves through. But Peru uh, competing in the first World Cup in a whole long time. As same same deal with Denmark. Well, in fact, they were, must have been 2010, I think, Denmark. Um, but Glad to see both these sides in there. And this, this group is actually hotly contested. I think France will qualify. As for the runner-up, it is wide open. I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, I think Denmark and Australia will go down to, but you never know. Peru might upset the odds. And, I, and I've said this before in the, in the France game that Peru might be the Costa Rica of this year's tournament. They could upset a few people uh, and, and, and get themselves into that. At least the quarterfinals, if things go their way, um, they've, they've, you know, had a good run at South America qualifiers, and that's up against teams such as Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina. I'm not sure how they fared against those mega heavyweights, but um, here we go. Shot on goal, and that is why we still don't know who's who. I, I, you know, it could be that could have been a Danish shot, or it could have been a Peruvian shot. I'm going to stick with my guns, though. I'm going to say the white is Denmark. Um, and if, like I said, if you're new to this, you can. I have simulated the entire World Cup updated the squads to the present day uh, I couldn't really update well, I could have if I wanted to update attributes uh, that shot is parried and should have went in the back of the net in fact they're gonna have a go again and I should come on I want someone to score so I know which who's who um, but I couldn't I could have edited all the attributes but that would have taken a whole load of time instead I went just for the names um, and I want a big shout out to Dave Jordan out of Chicago who made this possible uh, we worked over there over the summer uh, and this is actually my second experiment we did. I did a bit of Blackburn Rovers games. This is a Blackburn Rovers channel. Uh, I simulated a few games. In fact, I played a couple of games with me old buddies. Um, that's Blackburn Rovers. But anyway, that's, enough. that's a story for another day as the whites of uh, Per Denmark build. So she goes out for a throw for somebody. Yeah, maybe. Well, meh doesn't matter we'll find out hopefully if this peters out to a nil nil draw i'll be very very frustrated as it breaks now for the reds the reds of per denmark come and break is someone going to get a goal just to make it a little bit easy for me set up nice nice bit of play someone get on the end of this one have a go will you as the whites of daru now build nice through ball Come on, you got your space. You can shoot. And saved by the keeper. So these two sides have uh, met in the real world. No, they haven't. They've never met. This will be the first time that these two sides have ever met. Um, who's my tip? Oh, we got a free kick. We have a free kick. And it's a yellow card for the Reds, which is Peru. And the Whites is Denmark's free kick, who's taken place short. So she comes out to somebody else. 
Uh, there's no indicator to tell me who's who, and it's going into extra time. The first half looks like it's going to peer out to a nil-nil draw, but we do know who is who. As we get the second half underway, Peru, that's right, Peru will kick us off. Now Denmark build. Can they find a uh, an opening goal for this match? If you hear any barking in the background, that is Luna. She's cheering on. What's she going to cheer on? She's going to cheer on Peru in the Reds. Why? Because she's an underdog. She cheers on the underdog, and I'd say Peru are the underdogs in this match. As I said, you might hear her, you might not hear her. Um, it's just some vocal supports from the fans. It's like a Vuvuzela, but it's it's a dog. And here come Denmark now in their white jerseys. There she goes. She's cheering on Peru. Come on, boys, she says. Sort it out. And here come Peru indeed. It's played on. Picked up as a shot, but it's blocked. And now Denmark can clean house. Try and get themselves into this game. Um... But yes, this game would would be interesting. I'd see. I think the result of this would go far to to see who's actually going to qualify as runners up. I think France will have this in the bag and they will qualify easily as group winners. Um, but in the simulated world, you never never know. Uh, we've seen a couple of shocks already in the tournament. Um, this might be. This might end up nil nil, which would be which give them both chance to qualify. Uh, but it's wide open. I, in fact, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out which group is the group of death. I think Germany's got a pretty tough group with Sweden, Mexico, and South Korea. This is also a pretty tough group. Um, England got a piss easy group, and they should wander in there. Uh, obviously, Belgium are the favoured side, but against Panama and who was the other one? Uh, some other woeful team. Uh, Algeria, some of like that. I don't know. But anyway, here comes a shot, and that shot is eventually saved. Uh, but yeah, if you're a fan of either Peru or Denmark, please leave a comment in the section below just to let me know that you're thinking of your team and, uh, and what your thoughts are on my setup here with this retro FIFA 95 simulation. I don't think it's been done before with the current players. I think it's a nice spin on things and that is a cheeky shot from Peru. Try and get themselves a goal here. And also just let me know about your, 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 your build-up to the World Cup. Are you excited? What your thoughts? Um, and also how you who you think is going to uh, be predicted for your squads. I've got done some squad prediction videos. Some of them are horrific, some of them not so bad. And that is Luna. She's been very vocal for Peru. She's like, come on, boys, get it in there. But there's Denmark. And they've actually got themselves in front with a screamer. And we've got like, about 90 seconds left. 90 seconds left of this match. And Denmark, right now, are taking all three points uh, with them. And it's Paulsen. I think he plays for Red Bull Leipzig in the real world that's testing my German football knowledge uh, Paulsen 1-0 for Denmark as Peru now got to get themselves right back in this can they get it done early doors it's kept in play or oh, it's eventually teased in there but now it will be a throw for Denmark I think they've got this in the bag as they play in their funky nice tight red shorts yes that's what, that was the style in the 90s um, Obviously, some countries were in the original game. I believe Peru and Denmark were both in the original game. Uh, there are some other countries, such as Panama and uh, Costa Rica, who I don't think they were in the original game. As we've got one minute left of actual gameplay time, is there a chance for a second goal, and where will it come? In fact, here come Peru now, trying to find a way through this stubborn Danish defence. In fact, Denmark look now to get a second. Cheeky foul. Denmark's still keeping it alive. And that'll go out for a Danish throw. It's headed on. Goalkeeper should collect this and should kick it out there quickly if he's going to try and get something from this game. They've got less than 30 seconds of actual normal time. There might be a little bit of uh, injury time, but not much. It's played forward. Come on, head it on. Keep it alive. He does. He sets it forward, but nobody's... He, that was, yeah, he, he wasn't going to get on that. So it looks like Denmark are going to go away with a cheeky 1-0 win, which will be a cracking start for their World Cup. As we enter the last few seconds, pumped forward. It's headed clear, Bo. Peru might squeeze one more last effort. Not with a play like that, and Denmark should clean up, and it's over. It was not over. Oh, that was that's it now. That's probably your last highlight as uh, Schmeichel... We'll get rid of this. Obviously, his dad won the Euros with Denmark. Is he going to do anything in the World Cup? 
And there's a quick rundown of the statistics. Uh, four shots for Peru, only three for Denmark, and one of them went in the back of the net. Just a recap of the scorers. There he is, Paulson. Six minutes on the clock. And there's one yellow card. And that's Guy for Peru. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.